Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is seven reasons why the kindest people are actually the strongest. Okay, the kindest people are actually the strongest. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Kindness is in short supply these days. Isn't it true? It is in short supply these days because everybody are busy. Everybody seems to be very self-centered and so on. So kindness is in short supply these days. Most people are divided and disconnected because to, uh, due to the busy schedule and so on, they seem to be divided and disconnected. Now, there are two premises here. If you don't care, you never get hurt. So people don't care because they don't want to get hurt. Okay, the second thing is that if you hold no expectations, you will not be disappointed. So these are the things that make people, okay, unkind. Okay, but the truth is that humans have wants, needs, and emotions. Okay, they have wants, needs, and emotions. So let's have a look at the seven reasons why the kindest people are actually the strongest. Okay, number one. Kind people put themselves out there. They expose themselves out there. It takes emotional fortitude and strength. Isn't it true? To reveal your innermost self to other people. Because when you are kind, you expose yourself to people. Okay, so it, it takes uh, emotional fortitude and strength. That's for sure. Number two, kind people have the power to help others. Kind people, they always want to help other people. So they have the power to help others. And the strength is that what they can give to others okay they always think about what they can give to others and how they can make a difference in the world so because they are not self-centered they're thinking of other people and they are very kind so basically that is why uh, they always think about what they can give to others and how they can make a difference in the world that's number two number three kind people have built up their resilience okay resilience because i give you an example if you have to build your muscle okay let's say you have to build a muscle what you need to do is okay let's say you uh for uh weight bodybuilding right carrying weight what you need to do is put heavy weight so that your muscle break down only when your muscle break down then it will repair itself and then it will grow all right, so basically, you have to have resilience, even in anything in life, even in muscle building and so on, okay? So it's important to realize that the more challenges you face, the more resilient you become. Isn't it true? That's why going through challenges and obstacles is very, very critical to success. Number four, kind people have control over their emotion. They have control over their emotion because in order to be kind to other people, they have to control the emotion. They have to have tolerance and patience. It is necessary to remain cool, isn't it true? To remain cool, calm, and collected. Because you will meet all sorts of people, although you want to be kind with them, you will meet with a lot of uh, you know, obstacles, challenges, and all such types of people. Okay? Now, handling difficult customers, example, right? Handling difficult customers or argumentative partners. So you have to handle all these. All right, if you are kind, these are all the challenges that you could handle. So basically, you need to be able to handle your emotion. Number five, kind people develop themselves further. Okay, they develop themselves further because their, their, their mind, okay, they are open to others. They're always open to others, wanting to help other people. So basically, you know, they develop themselves further being, uh, Trying to help other people, they will develop themselves further. Okay, that is important. Because they have to find out about people. Uh, they have to communicate with people. So that is the reason. Number six, kind people are interested in new perspective on the world. Okay, they, they are interested. Normally, kind people are interested in what is happening in the world because they, they want to help other people. Okay. Uh, okay. Number six, kind people are interested in new perspective on the world. Through their conversation with others, they're open to tap into others' thoughts. 
because they they need to communicate with other people they converse with other people so they find out more about other people's challenges and and, and uh, situations all right so they seek out new perspective and use them to develop into well-rounded person so basically kind people are more rounded people all right they are more balanced in their thinking in the way of doing things and so on okay lastly number seven kind people have more happiness in the long run well don't you think so because they are kind to people and so on they have more happiness they're always happy all right so they have more happiness in the long run because they have emotional connection with others okay when you have emotional connection with others it makes you a happy person okay it makes you a uh, uh, a happy person caring for people you have empathy and so on okay it helps them to be more fulfilled and have complete lives yeah kind people always you know uh they have more fulfilled life because they have complete life okay because of their willingness to help other people they listen more okay so basically they, they help them to be more fulfilled and have complete lives okay so that's all my sharing for today i know that you know this is not an easy topic but basically uh, the topic is seven reasons why the kindest people are actually the strongest okay number one kind people put themselves out there they expose themselves okay so they have strength and fortitude number two kind people have power to help other people number three kind people have built up their resilience right because i mean throughout their, their life they try to help other people they are trying to be kind i'm sure they meet up a lot of obstacles and challenges as well okay number four kind people have control over their emotion they need to have control over the emotion because if you don't have control then you get disappointed you get angry and so on is that it true number five kind people develop themselves further okay because uh they open their mind to other people they listen to other people uh they learn from other people number six kind people are interested in new perspective on the world okay they want to know a lot of things that's happening outside there lastly number seven kind people have more happiness in the long run okay I'm, I'm sure that's a fact they have more happiness in the long run because okay they're happy they want to help people and so on okay so that's all my sharing here for today i hope that you learned something here if you like what you hear and see please feel free to like to share and to comment I appreciate that the time that you spend with me here. All right. Uh, that's all my sharing for today. I'll see you again for another session of my live video on Friday. Okay. So this is Richard Quack wishing you good night and goodbye.